G'day folks. Well, it's time to test out and evaluate this steel OH chainsaw that I picked up today. It's a uh, pretty old one. It's seen a lot of work. A lot more than my uh, uncle's old one, which is this one here. I've done a video on fixing the carby and everything up on it. Uh, there's a few differences between the models, the 08 and the 08S. Uh, the S model has the safety interlock on the hand grip, kill switch, other things that this one doesn't have. Uh, someone that's just cabled or hose clamped a little guard to the um, hand grip, so I don't know whether they originally had them. This is the 009, which is a more modern version. Plastic casing. Um, got a inertia lockout and brake on the uh, chain. These things can't really be legally sold or used on job sites because they don't have an inertia brake. Uh, this one can, but this one's been flogged out. It just needs a new cylinder, piston rings, probably crankcase seals. It's just got really low compression and virtually non-existent compression. It'll run if the throttle's held open, but apart from that, she's uh, not idling. Whereas this one here, you can swing the thing around by the cord, it's just got that much compression. Like this one. These are about the same compression-wise. It's time to go through some troubleshooting and just make sure it's got spark, put a bit of fuel in it, see what it does. Well, the spark plug looks pretty good. Not oily. Good gap. Quick spark test. Good. Nice and strong spark. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit of fuel up, but I think the uh, diaphragm's a bit hard. So I'll try it to start with full choke. Bloody hard to keep still. Fuel delivery issue by the sounds of it. Once you get fuel up, that's good. Oil is working alright, though the chain slackened off a lot. But that's easy to fix. Just loosen these off and there should be a special adjusting nut underneath. Good. Not bad for five bucks. Alright, let's do the chain tension on this. It should be just a regular slotted screw in here, like a Gibbs screw. Yep. Down. If you can see it. In there. Just gonna clean the head out. Loosen these up. 
the spark plug wee off anyway. Whenever you're working on something like this, always unplug the spark plug, just in case. There's a mower. I've heard of people turning mowers over by hand while working on the blade and they forgot to take the spark plug lead off. What does it do? It fires and takes fingers off. Now I can twist this screw and wind it in a bit. You don't want it too tight. Just so it hangs there. I'll be happy with that. Some people like them a bit tighter, some like them a bit looser. But that's acceptable. It'll change a little bit once I use it. Alright, let's give them both a run. The L8S was run a couple of days ago, so that'll be an easy start. Let's see how this thing restarts now that it's sat for a while and I've turned it around. It's a lot more vibration than the L8S as well. It just jumped all over the place. Should be good. Shane's a little bit blunt, but yeah. See, I'm just ripping through some shit wood, it doesn't matter. See, that's slackened off already. Yeah, need to regrind. That's good. Idle's a bit high though. Play with the carburetor and get the idle down a little bit. Okay, well, it's the same tillets and carburetor as the uh, 08S. They've wound the uh, idle screw all the way back and it's still idling high. So I think to do with a bit of play in the shaft, it has done a lot more work than my uh, 08S, so it's just a bit worn. But high idle won't kill it. it just doesn't have that chug 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 of, a, of the 08S. Fuel line's rock hard, but it's not leaking or cracked, so I'm not going to change that. Vent screws all right. This is pretty good. Yeah, didn't use much oil. O8S throws a bit more oil out too, but it's not too bad. Just little chips out of the thing. Oh, good little unit. I'll go and get some carby cleaner and give her a clean up. Looks filthy. Actually some degrees would probably do it better. <laughs> 